Yeah, hi there, I'm Mark Marshall from Zindula Conservation. Today's little talk is about a little snake called the brown house snake. The reason why I've chosen this snake is because it's a very common snake and it literally lives in the urban environment. In other words, your houses, your buildings, it's very, very adapted to live in this environment. It way prefers this environment than the natural bushveld because we supply them with warmth, shelter and food. So that's why they are called the house snake because they love our houses. This snake comes throughout the whole of Africa, South Africa, Toga, Ghana, Northwest Africa, right through Ethiopia, right down to little South Africa. So they are very, very well known on the continent. They only live on the African con continent and nowhere else in the world. They are harmless snakes, which means they can bite you, but nothing's going to happen to you. They've got no venom at all. So if they give you a little bite, so what? Nothing's going to go wrong. All right. They are the best rodent control creatures. A lot of people put poisons down to get rid of the rats and mice, but use an alternative. Use brown house snakes. They will love it. In fact, many people ask me, Mark, we don't want to use poison. Please, next time you catch a brown house snake, please release it in our roof to get rid of the rats and mice. And I do that, and they do a very good job of it. And they're very, very quiet. They'll never make a noise. You can be watching TV at night. And all of a sudden in front of you, here comes a snake just calling along. Hello, how's it going? He's just minding his own business. He just wants to eat a rat or a mouse that's in your house. And if you don't think there's rats and mice in your house, there are. The other day in one of our suburbs, a lady went to the loo at night and accidentally lifted the lid up of the toilet and there was a big brown house snake sitting in the loo. Now, what actually happened was this snake crawled into her bedroom whilst she was sleeping, ate a rat in her bedroom, and then decided to go out the window via the toilet. Climbing on the toilet, as she lifted the lid up, she accidentally made it slip into the loo. So, yeah, these snakes love our houses. They do their job. If she did not go to the loo, that snake would have done his job, gone outside, and she would never have even noticed or realized that that had happened. So they are silent little rodent removers. Okay, they don't grow very, very big. They only get to about a meter or so, but they're very, very friendly snakes. If you catch them in the wild, they might give you a bite because they're unsure of what you're doing or who you are. But when you hold them for a while nice and gently, these little guys will relax perfectly onto you and they're actually very, very friendly. So brown house snakes, unfortunately, they do like to bask, which means they like to keep warm. And the warm places are on the road or something like that. And a lot of people often kill them by cars. So please keep a lookout at nighttime when you're driving on the road. If you see a little snake there, swerve and don't ride over it. It might be a friendly little brown house snake who's just wanting to go get his next little meal or something like that. All right. So brown house snakes, lovely little snakes. Um, we've had a couple incidences where people... Children have had a pet hamster or a pet mouse in their room and unfortunately a brown house snake crawls through the window at night when they're sleeping, crawls into the cage, eats the little hamster or mouse and then all of a sudden becomes trapped in the cage because it's too big to come out through the bars of the cage. They wake up the next morning and they see a little brown house snake in the cage and obviously they're quite sad but after a few minutes they fall in love with the brown house snake which is quite strange. Okay, so... That happens. The snake thinks it's almost like takeaways. It smells this little guy. It comes in. It wants to eat the mouse. It eats it. It's doing exactly what it's meant to do in the wild. It's doing a natural behavior. It's not coming there on purpose to do something like that. And if you see a brown house snake, remember, that snake also looks at you and he gets just a much bigger fright than what you get when you see him. So really, pick him up, take him outside, let him go. They are very easily identified. The white tummy is brown on the body, and they've got two little stripes, one over each eye, a little cream-colored stripe, and that is very distinctive of the brown house snake. Nocturnal, so they do not come out during the day. They fast asleep during the day, only at night time. So if you are sitting in your house that eats a big rat in your house or a mouse, it might crawl into the kitchen cupboard right at the back of the cupboard, sleep there for a good month, digesting that meal, until it decides it's hungry again and it'll start crawling around again. So yes, you might have one in your house for a long time before you know he's there. My record is catching seven brown house snakes between the pots and pans of somebody's cupboard underneath the kitchen sink.
So, yep, they are there. They are around and they're here to stay. Hope you enjoyed it. Please log on to sandula.co.za or Facebook Mark Marshall Sandula Conservation. Thanks.